common themes uh, around, uh, you know, why a digital pound, why a digital euro, why a digital dollar. It's, it's an, an evolution of money, a new form of smart money can really unlock a lot of benefits to consumers and businesses and having logic built in. Hi, it's Mine Crypto here. I hope we're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Remember, this isn't financial advice. Always do your own research. Mine Crypto here. I hope we're having a wonderful day. Looking at the charts, we are looking a bit mixed. Quant is now down to 103, ranked 39 with a market cap of 1.25 billion. Currently up 0.1 in the hour, up 0.1 in the day, down 6.3 in the week. Now, I'm not so fussed because I think, you know, we're seeing this up and down between that $95 support range all the way up to 110. Um, and it's just playing around those ranges. And if you're a trader, that's pretty nice um, profits that you can make there. But I'm a hodler. I'm looking at the long game in this. And so if we go over to the crypto fear and greed index, you can see the overall market is under that one trillion and it's down in the last 24 hours. And BTC dominance is down 0.12%, meaning that some of that money is moving over to the alts. And we can see greed here down from last week down to 58 and not looking too bad to be fair but today we're going to be talking about the end game and we're talking about quant now i saw this thread yesterday via crypto tom and he says with careful consideration i'm reallocating more into quant until the dust settles it's one of the few plays alongside my other holdings i have laser sharp confidence in but can also off ramp safely if needed being in the us now i found this quite intriguing that people are now seeing quant as a almost stable in price not stable coin obviously not but uh, there's confidence in the price confidence in its direction he goes on to say a bit astonished there hasn't been more positive pa considering recent news and updates seems the price has been suppressed for a while the market might be chasing narratives but imagine most will rotate back into quant as a life raft which i agree with I agree with completely. It seems that all this news that's come about over the last two, three weeks, and it for me, it's it's a rock solid um, asset. But remember, not financial advice. So, moving over here to actually something that has been quite prevalent on Twitter over the last year or so, to be quite fair, and it's the argument about CBDCs and these coins that are regulated essentially for the CBDC. People call them like the devil coin or, you know, it, I get it. I'm not a fan of CBDCs, but I'm not going to cut my nose off to spite my face. And what I mean by that is I'm not going to hurt myself by not investing in something that I essentially believe in. Something that puts you at a disadvantage. And this is part of the hodling regulating utilities that probably isn't discussed. And over this bear market, I've seen people exit tokens like, say, the HBAR, Quant, XRP, because they can't support the agenda anymore. And the inevitability to leave your emotion behind is effectively what tokenizer says is weakness now i watched this video by and and it's titled quant is a horrible crypto to buy unless you love regulation now again it's gonna happen whether we like it or not so we need to start to manage these emotions now i wouldn't say emotions as such because it isn't about being emotionless that we need to be. In fact, it's the opposite. You feel a strong emotion, but you choose to be indifferent to it and act rationally. Now, the way I see it is that, you know, eventually we are going to move into a regulated system where CBDCs are going to be running alongside the current system. Now, you can be, you know, completely opposed to CBDCs and yet still hedge your situation 
And that's what I'm doing. I don't like CBDCs. I don't like the thought of the programmability of them because obviously the powers that be could do whatever they want. Although Gilbert's already said that they're not likely to want to see what, you know, what sandwich you're eating. Now, we've got to look at this logically in respect to the future. Now, I'm not going to throw all my toys out of my pram just because something is regulated. I want to be in the best possible position when these things do happen. So I made a comment because I watched the video. And I said, he misses the point entirely. Most who are invested in crypto now only care about the gains that are likely to be made in the future. CBDCs are going to happen whether you are invested in quant or not. I'd rather make an awesome investment than not. And it's as simple as that for me. I want to be, if, if these things that these people talk about are going to happen, well, I want to make sure that I protect my future and that's as simple as that, completely for me. It is that simple. So I just saw a tweet from the House of Chimera comparing Interledger Ripple and Overledger Quant and the key differences. Overledger surpasses Interledger's value transfer and enabling logic and message transfers, multi-chain smart contracts and Oracle functionalities. Thus, Overledger provides additional functionality. So if we look here, we can see comparing Interledger and Overledger. Now, I'm invested in both because I see the possibility of both taking off. But that's my prerogative. I know some people have said, well, why are you invested in, in Ripple? Well, why not? It's got great tech, maybe not as good as Quant. So let's compare. So we've got interoperability. So Quant facilitates Interoperability between permissioned and permissionless blockchains. Ripple functions as a bridge between different cryptocurrencies as well as between cryptocurrencies and fiat. Tools for implementation. MApps can be utilized as plug and play setup and can operate across any DLT. Ripple, a custom connector is required to bridge two DLTs. Native token, QNT is the Quant's network's native token. And Ripple, Interledger protocol has no native token. And then fault tolerance, protocol based, and Ripple depends on validators, notaries, or institutions. Now, I see benefits in both, and I think they both play a big part in the future. Again, not financial advice, but Looking at these, I see one true winner. And for me, that is Quant. With a second ripple. I know that a lot of XRP <laughs> followers are, are gonna hate that, but you know, I'm sure they're invested wisely. Um, I know I am. Anyhow, that was just a quick bit of news and a bit of a rant really about, you know, CBDCs. But as you know, I bring you the news. Please subscribe. Please hit that notification bell for more videos and I will catch you later. All the best. Remember, this isn't financial advice. Always do your own research.